At Ellis Brigham, we take product testing really seriously. It forms a crucial part of our range selection. And today, we're out here at the Ski Industries of Great Britain Ski Test in Kutai, Austria. This is the last part of our range selecting. It's where we're gonna decide exactly what skis and boots we stock in store. What I wanna do now is pass you over to the brands so they can tell you about the key features of this ski, who it's designed for, and what it's gonna do. Here we have the Armada ARV96, and the ARV range from Armada is their all-mountain freestyle range. The 96 is their flagship model, and it's very much meant for someone who wants to ski all over the mountain, um, but also wants to run through the park. This is very much what Armada is known for, is this kind of collection with all-mountain freestyle skis. Within this ski, you have a poplar and ash core. And so you have poplar core running throughout and ash stringers that give it great pop and great life. This is an incredibly versatile ski. It is very much an all-mountain freestyle ski, but if you're wanting to take it off the side as well, it will perform for you. So this is the Armada ARV 96. So we're out in Tien in France. This is the Ellis Brigham Ski Test, and this is the final part of our testing program. This is when we invite colleagues from all the shops to come out and join us try the skis that we've ranged for next year, validating our choices, but also make sure that they've skied them, they know exactly what those skis do, and they can give you the right information when you come into the store. So here's what it's all about. So I've just finished skiing the Armada ARV96, and I absolutely love the way this skis. The flex pattern is really interesting to me. I ski a lot of park. I've done a fair bit of free ride. This is right up my street. The conditions I've skied it in aren't exactly where it's most at home, but I was still able to get quite a lot out of it. So we've had some fresh snow up the top, it's getting a little bit heavier down the bottom, and there's not that much flat piste, and we've not really been able to ski any park either. What I have managed to do is take it off the sides a little bit, run it through its on-groomer's motions, side country, sort of off piste, uh, and it performed really well. I, I really enjoyed the way it skied through that. There wasn't really any compromise I found. Like the tip stayed up enough, it's light enough, it's got enough width that you're not having trouble in the deep stuff. And on grooms it's fine as well. I was able to have a little play around on the tips and tails. It butters really nicely. I love the flex pattern on it. You can get right the way up, really push into them and you can get a good pop out of them too. They're not too soft. There's not too much of a hinge point too high up. And played around a little bit, got a few carves on it. I like the way it holds an edge and switch it performs beautifully as well it's really really nice